Oh, my heart goes out to the Polynesians. Being that I am Hawaiian and Maori, came here the other day and seen all the Polynesians, my people, so deceived. The fallen believe that Joseph Smith had another revelation by Jesus Christ. Actually, he said he had a, he had a visitation by an angel. Yet the Bible says in Galatians 1 8, if anyone or an angel bring to you another gospel, other than that which you receive, let him be accursed. So Joseph Smith is cursed. Brigham Young is cursed, according to the word of God. Because Jesus, he gave the parable and he said, a man uh, went off into a far journey, hired some husbandmen to uh, look over the vineyard. And uh, knowing that the fruits were due to season, he sent those to gather the, of the fruits, some of his servants. It's found in Matthew chapter 21, verses 33 to 41. And he, he sent servants, and they killed one, they beat one up, and stoned the other. They cut some in, sent some more. And eventually he sent his son, symbolic for Jesus Christ. And then the, uh, the, the countryman came back and he destroyed his wicked husbandmen, wicked servants that were watching over the vineyard. The amazing thing, people, the amazing thing, Mormons, there was no one else after the son. Amazingly, you know, you believe that Joseph Smith is a prophet, but what prophecies? came true by Joseph Smith. Huh? What prophecy did he prophesy that came true? I want to tell you none of them came true. He said that the Americas would be overthrown some years after he, re you know, got his uh, somewhat revelation from the angel Moron, I'm sorry, Moroni, and you know, it never came true. Joseph Smith said, Many things, many prophecies that never came through. Joseph Smith also said that you can become a God. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Because even Satan himself said back in the back in the Garden of Eden that you can become God. And here it is, generations later, being repackaged. And Joseph Smith tells you that you can become a god. The Bible doesn't say that. There's contradictions from the Book of Mormon and the Bible. The Bible says that you're saved by grace and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God and not of works. The Book of Mormon says that you're saved after all that you can do. I think there's a big contradiction there, people. That is false information from a false prophet, a false teacher. And I'm concerned for yourselves that if, that if you're following a false teaching and a false Jesus, then you're going to end up in hell one day. Your God doesn't exist, Mormons. You need to repent and come under the conditions of Jesus Christ when he says to turn from your sins, turn from false doctrine and turn to the living God through His Son, Jesus Christ. You cannot be a God. Your Father doesn't have many other fathers and other gods and other planets with other spiritual babies and their uh, multitudes of wives having celestial sex to planet, uh, to depopulize their planet. It's unbiblical. The problem with Mormonism is that Mormons are taught never to read the Bible. How you doing, sir? Never to read the Bible. But I'm preaching, my man. Hey, freedom of speech, brother. Hey, brother, you're standing on American soil. I have every right to speak. And play like what? You're a good Mormon? You're gonna what you gonna do to the, to this preacher over here if you're a good Mormon? What you wanna do about it? I'm gonna preach the gospel. You need Jesus. You need the truth to deliver you. How come you don't read the Bible? Did you read the Bible? Well, what are you bothering you over here? I'm preaching. Well, what's wrong with that? You know what everybody believes here? What? what? What do they believe in? I'm not here for that. What do you know? Do you believe in preaching my rights? No, just leave us alone, man. You believe in preaching my rights? I have every right to stand here? Did you realize that? Well, what did this community do to you? No, I, I'm part of
Polynesian. I'm Hawaiian Maori. There are many Polynesians here that are deceived. They don't know the truth. They fall, in, they fall No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Joseph Smith is a false prophet. There's no prophet. Yeah, you don't say it in his mouth and keep true. There's not. You're a mind you. Well, you tell me one then. You show me one. You show me one. I'm standing here right now. You show me one. You think you can become a god? What's wrong? I'm not here to bless That's why I'm here. I'm here to preach. I'm here to talk about the truth. Yes. Yeah. I'm here to talk about the truth. What you believe is the truth. Well, what does that matter to you between you and me? Because I have the right to speak. Yeah, you have you the right to speak, lead? but you know what we do here. Okay, doesn't please. matter. This, this is this is American soil. I have every right on the Constitution to stand right here and speak my mind. Second, I love these people. I want them to know the truth. What the you truth believe is the truth. No, no, the Bible. Not the truth. You have the Bible, but you don't read the Bible. So where is the Book of Mormon? Yeah, the Book of Mormon has no validation from the Bible. Exactly. That. Exactly. You need to read your Bible. Read the Word of God and you'll find out that the Word of God, the Book of Mormon, is contradicting each other. Read the Bible! Yeah, it's simple as that. I can hear you right here. Well, I'm not talking, I'm talking to everybody over here. Nobody gotta hear that shit. Wait, oh, listen to your mouth. Oh, that, well, you just cuss like a gangster. What you gonna do? Well, what, you, what are you gonna do? You gonna beat us? You gonna beat us up? I'm doing nothing to you. Yo, why are you so angry about us talking about the truth? You're a gangster rapper? Come on, bro. I'm talking about the Bible here. You're angry. You need to repent. Curse words coming from your mouth, it's quite obvious you don't know God. It's quite obvious you don't know God. The Bible says, by the mouth, the abundance of the words that come out of mouth shows the heart. Maybe you should listen to some of our preaching. Yeah, the abundance of your heart, the mouth speaks. The word of God is true until this day. The book of Mormon is a bunch of lies. Yeah. Joseph Smith is a false prophet. Joseph Smith had many wives. Brigham Young had 55 wives. The Bible teaches monotheism. The Book of Mormon teaches polytheism. That's a huge contradiction. There is only one God and one Lord Jesus Christ according to 1 Corinthians chapter 6 8. There's no many gods. There's no many planets with, with, with celestial sets going on and multitudes of uh, uh, spirit babies and, and gods having sex with their multitudes of wives. There's only one God. Isaiah 44 tells us that there is none front before and after. He is the only one. God Jehovah. God Elohim. It's a plurality. Jesus Christ is the Son of God, more equal to the Father, according to 1 John 5, 7. You Mormons need to read your Bibles. I'd be so angry. What are you doing when you get angry? If you toss the leaves, you're showing your fruit. He's showing you really what's happening in your heart. When you tell a person like myself to leave, I'm Hawaiian first of all. I'm in America, I live in this land. I can, I can free, free, freely speak my mind out here in America on American soil. It's called the Constitution, a First Amendment right, the freedom of speech. It's illegal when you tell me to leave and tell me I can't say anything here. I'm on a public sidewalk. You people need to repent. You need to turn to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the God of the Bible, and not the Mormon Jesus. The Mormon Jesus doesn't exist. Joseph Smith, he was a polygamist. More than that, he was a, he was a follower of the Masonic rituals. And he followed Masonic masonry very well. He was a 33 degree masonry. That's why when you look at the temples here, there in Utah, they have Masonic symbols around the building. This is the truth, John said, the Bible says in, in John 8, 32, for you shall know the truth, the truth will make you free. That's the Bible. Because I care. It doesn't matter, I preach all over the place. I love these people, I want them to hear the truth. It doesn't matter, I'm here today. Because I want these people to hear, I'm preaching the gospel. I have every right to speak, brother. I have every right to share my faith here in America. You don't like it, just walk away, buddy. You don't like it, just go home. The truth will go out. The truth will make its way, hopefully, to those who got ears to hear. Hey, you. Why are you All the nations, listen. All the nations. I always record you. Jesus Christ. I don't like, Christ, I don't like you on my. I don't like you on your film. We yeah, have a right to record you, actually. Why don't you call the police, sir? I did already. They're on their way. Good, good. We have a right to do that. They're on their way. Okay, that's fine.
We, have, we, know, we, we know our rights. Right? We do this around the whole place. Mary was conceived okay. by the Holy Spirit. That's the word of God. The Bible says that Jesus was conceived by the Holy Spirit. That's the word of God. The Bible declares that there is only one God and one Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, we're, we're from the other side of the island. I, I, I'm here to preach the gospel. I'm here to preach the truth. The Book of Mormon contradicts the Bible. You need the truth to be set free. That Jesus Christ he is not a brother of Satan, as the Mormons teach. The Bible says in Colossians 1, verse 15, that he inherited all things, created all things, everything in heaven, on earth, and beneath the earth. This is love, man, whether you believe it or not. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is not the way you understand it in the Book of Mormon. You need to read your Bibles. You need to read the Word of God. Revelation says, if you add anything, God will have the plagues described in these books against you. And those who take away that which is in that book, God will take away their name from the Book of Life. None of you Mormons gave me a Bible verse back on what it is you believe. None of you did. Not if you do, because you don't read the Bible. How do you build a house without a foundation? How do you discern whether the things that come after the Bible are from God if you don't read the Word of God yourself? How would you find out? It makes no sense. The Book of Mormon is not validated. And it doesn't have more virtue virtue than the Word of God, the Bible. How would you discern whether or not that was from God the Book of Mormon if you haven't read the Bible. I think there's a contradiction there. Joseph Smith prophesied and it never came true. Joseph Smith taught that you are progressing to be gods and one day you're going to have your own planet with spirit babies being populated upon that planet and as your wife is uh, eternally pregnant. Wow, what a heaven for your for your wives. I'll be pregnant for all eternity. That's not heaven to I'm sure that's not heaven to most of the ladies out there. But it's a lie. It's not the Bible. Bring them young. Come on now. Bring them young. Fifty-five wives. Fifty-five wives. And then the longer, and you know what? They 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 deterred, they deterred from that teaching because they knew that it just doesn't make, doesn't line up, doesn't make sense. But true fundamental Mormonism teach that, you know, you can have many wives practice polygamy. The Mormons even believe that once we were, uh, you know, we had a pre-life pre existence before Earth, which is totally unbiblical. And that Jesus is the Adam that first came on the Earth, that is unbiblical. That is totally unbiblical. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, call you to the Father, as the Bible says. You need to read your Bible. Seek the truth. Be delivered from the lies of the Mormon church that teaches that somehow you can become a God. There is no way that you're going to become a God. Satan told that line in the Garden of Eden. He said that you can become God and have the knowledge of God if you take in the forbidden fruit. That's what Satan told Adam and Eve. And it's coming back again, repackaged. And you believe a lie that somehow you can become gods. We would never become gods. Never become gods. That's not trouble. We're preaching the truth. We're preaching the truth. I follow the word of God. And the thing is, you guys believe in something that's not even biblical. It's, it's, it's destroying other people's lives because they follow this religion. It doesn't have. It doesn't even have. Concern for people's souls. That's why we're out here. I'm not here. We're not here to fight. We're not here to fight anyone. Well, you know, the thing is, we believe the word of God. Bible says. Bible says. Are you going to do something illegal, sir? No, you're standing right here. Please don't. I'm just standing right here. Uh, I'm uh, recording. I'm just standing here. Where's the police? Where? Are you going to do something I'm just standing illegal? here. No, I'm not doing nothing illegal. Nothing illegal. I'm just standing here. I'm just standing here.
Well, I cannot stand here. You guys can't stand on the side of the road, huh? I'm just standing here. Well, I'm just standing here. What's up? Are you gonna do something illegal? Are you fishing? Are you fishing? Your, your fist is right in my face. Once that thing touches my face, you're doing something to me. What? I'm just standing here. Oh, guys. What? I'm just standing right here. Easy, guys. What? Easy, guys. Your fist getting closer to no, my face. No, no, no. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. Hey, let's go. I understand. I understand you guys are upset. I understand it's my right too. Heavy. Yeah, it's my right too. I'm just standing right here. I understand you guys. Why are you bumping me? Hey, you bumping me. No, you're bumping me, sir. No, I'm not bumping you. You're bumping me. I'm just here to spread I'm just standing right love, here. Love Jesus. Yeah, me too. I love Jesus. Just look, your fist. Almost to my face. Almost to my face, your fist. Hit him. Huh? You trying to hit me? No, sir. Huh? I'm just standing right here. Yeah? You said we can stand on the side of the road, right? Are you trying to punch my oh, face? Sir, I'm, I'm not trying to punch you. Huh? Oh, oh, now you're bumping me again. Call the police. Bumping call me. the police. I called the police. They're on their way. Look over here. I called the police. Yeah, you're... you're no, no, I'm standing you're, here you're on the side of the road. First Amendment rights to I'm standing the right here. You're, you're, I'm standing. I'm just standing on the side of the road. My private you space. bumped me. Please back away you from me. You got that on your field. Back away from me, sir. You bumped me. You're, a, you're a getting in my face too much. No, 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 no. no. You bought me already. No, sir. I, Your fist was by my face. I'm just here to preach the love of I'm Jesus. just here to stand just like you guys. Protecting my rights. Yeah? yeah. I'd say i be like you guys. You gonna bump me again? No, I'm not bumping you. Huh? You gonna bump me again? No, I'm not bumping you. Protecting my amendments.